Every episode's going to start with me fixing my hair. What does my hair look like? I don't ever know until I look into the camera. Pull some angel curls to give my face definition. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to our McWorld. Hello. Uh, Mallory here. Courtney here. Probably. Courtney. Today, we're going to be talking about Dragon Con again! Year 8! 2014. Woot! Okay. So, what was new about this year? Oh, we did the zombie walk. We did the zombie walk in cosplay. Yes. I cosplayed as Daryl. As Beth. And it was right after, spoiler alert, Beth died. It was. I even picked Mallory up and I carried her the whole zombie walk. We took a photo. <laughs> <laughs> that was the way I was telling it was much cooler. And I saw my friend again. You may remember from the Dragon Con last year. That this guy lent me his crossbow so I could take a photo. And I saw him again. And I took a photo with him again. Mm -hmm. And he lent me his crossbow again. <laughs> yep. And then we did the zombie walk to the zombie prom. Yep. And when we promed. And people told Mallory that she looked just identical to Beth. Yeah. Like they really thought it was her. Like, first of all, if it was, was her, why would she be dressed like this? <laughs> why wouldn't she? I mean, she was trying to blend in. Yeah. You could have been her, according to some of them other people, so maybe it worked. Maybe it did work. I mean, it wasn't her, because it, it was you, but you know what I mean. <laughs> there you go. Hey, that. Hugh Jackman went out at Comic-Con dressed as Wolverine one time, I heard. Oh, yeah. Somebody was like, not that good, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. Uh, we did go for three days again. Pretty much from here on out, we went for at least three days. Yeah. Until we started going more, but yeah. that wasn't this year. This year, three days still. Yes. We did stay at a hotel, I think, though, all three days. Or whatever. Yeah. Or at least Friday and Friday Saturday and night. Saturday. And then came home Sunday night. This might have been when we started staying in Midtown. Yeah. Because um, it was well, it was so hard to get hotels downtown. And then it was cheaper, too, to stay in Midtown. And we just had to ride Marta down. Yeah. What to, a big uh, deal. Downtown. But the other new things we did were <laughs> we discovered a new party. Yes, we did. Because we were at a dance on yeah. Saturday night. I don't remember what the dance was. Me neither. But it was all of us, I think. Or me and you and Hillary right, so and Macy and Marley. Yes. And we went to the dance and we were like, all right, let's leave. So we left because it was in the, I think it was in the Westin and it was in the upstairs because in the Westin they've got these escalators that go up, 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 up. And so we left whatever it was and came down at the bottom of the escalator there was another ballroom and it was this big party and there were strobe lights and they were playing like techno music techno EDM. yeah but it was like techno versions of other songs. some regular songs too so we were like what is this so yeah. we went inside and found out and it was the spectrum party which is the LGBTQ A track track party. Yeah. We found that out. <laughs> yeah, we didn't find that. We couldn't find it. The next year we kept looking for it. But those is a really cool party. They played really good music. Yeah, it was so cool. Because I guess because they had all the crazy stuff. And it yeah. was just so... Like, it seemed like almost everybody in the party was dancing. Yes. Because a lot of parties you go to, they'll have, like, a dance area. And then people will just be, like, hanging along the outskirts. Yeah. 
not this one. It was like everybody seemed to be into it. Yeah. And so all of us, of course, got into it and started singing along and dancing. And yeah. It was a lot of fun. But it's one of the parties nowadays that's really hard to get into. Yes, it is. The line is outrageous. We did go this past time. We'll tell you about that later. But we went really late and shut it down. But, um, yeah, that was, um, that was on Saturday night. Yep. Actually, cause I only know because I'm wearing my jersey in this picture. Um, we probably went to the, I'm not sure, I guess we went to the UL Ball. We usually go to a lot of, once we find a dance, we typically go every night, like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night. They always have dances yeah, on we do. various tracks. So we usually go visit all of them or hop around and find the best yeah. ones. Which now they're way more crowded than they were back then because back then we didn't have to wait in line to get into any of them. Like once they started. Yeah, you just you, went in. You just went in like you didn't have to. But not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah. So now we, there's one really great one we go to on Friday night. Which one is it? It's the zombie, it's the zombie prom. prom. Yeah, it's the zombie prom. It's confusing because there's only ever like two or three zombies there now, and that's pretty much it. So yeah. <laughs> not a lot of zombies around, but no. But they have the best. Di we'll tell y'all this later. Yeah. Spoilers about, about the great DJ. The great. That one was one of my DJ. favorite memories from all of Dragon Con. Is that first year when we went to that on Friday night? Yeah. And we closed it down. Yes. With a sing along, it was great, but yeah, just stay tuned for that. <laughs> Spoilers. 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 So, we did go to what is up with my screen? It's freaking out. It is freaking out, man. We went to the parade again. Yes, we did scavenger hunt again, evidently. And the blood drive. We went back to those. We went to a once upon a time panel. Comes with a price, dearie. We went to a True Blood. True Blood panel. We went to a Doctor Who panel. And Patrick Stewart. I can't do it. <laughs> you just do it. But I just can't do it. Do or do not. There's no try. That ain't it. Feels like a shadow puppy. To be up, I have to help it. <laughs> <laughs> My fingers don't do that on either side. The force ain't with you, dog. That ain't even the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it still ain't. <laughs> hey, and we run into our friend Alex randomly. Yeah. Our friend Alex from high school, yeah. she cosplays as a video game character. We don't know from what I video game because we're not good at that. No. But not big gamers. She looked no, like not. she killed it though. Her yeah. costume was great. On Friday, we did. Was it Friday? Yeah, it's Friday, right? Yeah, Friday. Friday, we did a group costume, sort of, kind of. We all wore superhero shirts and just whatever. Skirts or bottom or shorts or whatever you wanted to wear. So I was Batman. I'm a Superman. Hillary was Captain America and Macy was the Hulk. So we represented Marvel and DC. Mm -hmm. People, somebody did take a picture of us. Yeah. Even though we were like just shirts. We just, just t-shirts. Yeah. Like, I think I've worn the Batman one on this thing before. Yeah, I don't have my Superman. My Superman one had a cape attached. I don't yes. have that anymore. It, uh, it stopped fitting. <laughs> <laughs> no capes! Anyway, no capes. So, who did we meet? Well, from Warehouse 13. Yeah! We've been here, I guess, this is one of those ones we found out, I think, because of Dragon Con. We found out about Warehouse 13. Mm -hmm. And so, the main cast came, so we watched, like, the whole show. Yeah. And we met the whole cast, mostly. We had already met, what's his face, Ashmore, the fake Ashmore, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> the not Sean one. <laughs> yeah, so we got, uh... 
Joanne Kelly. Yep. And Andy McClintock. Andy McClintock is amazing! He took a selfie with us because that was on the scavenger hunt. Yes. And he took a million like selfies. Like a legit selfie. He took a bunch of selfies. Yeah. He was so cool. He's like the nicest guy. He comes to Dragon Con almost every year and designs a shirt every year that he comes. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Doesn't that raise money for... I think so, yeah. Um, for something. Something. Sure. And we also met Allison Scagliotti. Mm-hmm. And Saul Rub... How do you say the name? Rubinick? Rubinick? Yeah. That's it. Anyway, they were all super cool. They were very nice people. Yeah. Or else 13 is a great show. I need to rewatch it. Mm-hmm. Allison was also on Drake and Josh. Yes, she was. And Eddie McClintock, he's been in lots of things, and so has Saul Rubinick. Yeah. You've seen him around, even if you hadn't seen where I was 13. Yes. Now one of the skinniest people we've ever met in our lives. Possibly the skinniest person I've ever met in my life. Slim. She's very slim. I feel like, for real. But she, she I know, it's so weird. Because even though, even in the picture you can tell how slim she is. She, she doesn't look, I don't know. She looks good. Like, she's just... Yeah. Athletic. She must have an athletic build. Yeah. Like a thin... She doesn't look like a skeleton. No. Anyway, from... <laughs> from being human, <laughs> Kristen Hager. Yes. Yeah, but she was, as you can see in the photograph, she's just so dang thin. She's petite. Yeah. We don't want to get busted for body shaming. No, but and like... And we're not, because she I was wasn't just, like... Yeah. We're not saying anything other than that she was slim. Yeah. She was very petite. You know what's weird? I feel like, I mean, obviously a lot of actresses are still look thin on TV. Yeah. But actresses always look smaller in real life. Yeah. But actors don't. No. Men always look somewhat similar to how they do on TV. Yeah. Sometimes a little bit shorter. Yeah. But for the most part, they don't look. Like the way they look, no. they still look the same in real life as they do on TV. But women always look. I'm like, why does the camera make women look bigger and don't make men look? Yeah, that ain't fair. Fix the camera. Yeah, I think we didn't know how thin she was because you know her character on Being Human was a nurse. Yeah, she wore scrubs. So a she wore scrubs all the time. So, yeah. But yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we've met several actresses that have been really thin, yeah. but. The like, main maybe it's because she was tall, because yeah. she was also tall. She was nice, and that's more important than how you look anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, for real. So that was, that was cool. Also, that pretty much, like, rounded out our cast of being human. Yeah. we already met the main three before, so mm -hmm. that was neat. And we met Tony Curran from lots of things, but to us, Doctor Who... He played Vincent Van Gogh or One Van Gogh if you're weird. Emotional episodes of Doctor Who ever. Yes. We recently in our running club, our the Whovian Running Club had a um, race that mm -hmm. was the Van Gogh themed and it sold out so fast. Really fast. Yeah. But if you haven't ever seen the Vincent Van Gogh episode, man, it's, it's a tearjerker. He was on, wasn't he on like a... I think Defiance or yeah. something. He's I on, haven't watched that, but no. oh, people come from it a lot, so I feel like it's one of those... Yes, I think it's um, Defiance. One of those shows I thought about watching, and I haven't. Yeah. He was one of the most talkative and nicest people we've ever met yeah. at Dragon Con. Because we told him... I mean, we only really knew him from Doctor Who. And so we told him... You know what a great episode that was and whatever and he just wanted to talk to us all about it yeah i mean there was like a line for him just and yeah. we were like we, can we love talking to you but <laughs> yeah there are some people back there <laughs> yeah but yeah and he was really cool he was really cool so that was neat to meet him Somebody that, this was also when we slowly but surely started getting like everybody we ever thought about getting. Yeah. <laughs> so, no regrets. Like, we will not miss anyone else. Yes. 
Well, then, as you would like to say, we met the real Ashmore. <laughs> we did meet the real Ashmore, a.k.a. Sean from In a Heartbeat. And guess what? In a Heartbeat, not on Disney+. Plus. What is the point of having Disney+. Plus? We got it for nothing. I'm going to cancel it. Forget all them good movies and shows. You can't watch In a Heartbeat. Forget it. Never mind. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But... I was so excited because I loved him, because I loved that show, and I loved him on it. Mm -hmm. He's one of my childhood crushes, so that was pretty awesome. Yeah. And I added to my Buffy collection with Emma Caulfield we met this year. Yeah. And we met Drew Roy from iCarly. I want to date a bad boy. Yep. That's what we knew him from. He was also on Hannah Montana. He was Jesse on Hannah Montana. What did we just watch that he was on, though? Where's my phone? Over there. He was on another show. It was like some kind of an apocalyptic thing, I think. Or it could have been a movie. I don't know. I'm going to look it up while you tell them other things. Okay. Other people we met. Well, we also, from Once Upon a Time... We had, this is, we got a group shot. So, I'm going to look at my list. Okay, so in our shot, we had Amy Acker, Rebecca Mader, Sean McGuire, Beverly Elliott, Lee Ehrenberg, and Robbie Kay, and I'm going to mess his name up. Giancarlo Esposito. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Giancarlo. Alexis so, Mateo is getting to me. <laughs> Bam. So we got we got the uh, big group shot with them, which ended up being a weird setup because they had us sitting. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of that. No, but we wanted a lot of them because you know once upon a time and Amy Acker obviously she was in the Weeden verse. She was on on Angel and Dollhouse, and then she's in Cabin in the Woods, and mm -hmm. she's in all the kinds of stuff. So many weed and things. And then all the others. So we had what Grumpy and Peter Pan and uh, Granny and, and Robin Hood. Zelina. Zelina. And the mirror. Yep. Yep. So all them. A lot of people. Yeah. It was kind of a strange setup, but overall workout. Did you figure out? Yes, I did. He's on Falling Skies. We didn't watch it, but I did. I was aware of it, I okay. guess. He's on Falling Skies, or he was on Falling Skies. I don't know if that show comes on anymore, but mm -hmm. he was on there. We also met Ralph Macchio and C. Thomas Howell from The Outsiders. Oddly enough, I was dressed like Barney Stinson that day. Yeah. We did more, co like, early cosplay in these days. So I had on, because I dressed like Barney on How um, Halloween. Once, so really, I just had on a button-up shirt, and I had me a duck. I got me a duck tie. <laughs> yes. To wear, and I had on like a jacket because he always I didn't have on pants because it was hot, but I had on <laughs> like a mini suit sort of thing. And yeah, and I dressed as Daryl, and I just had blue jean shorts, and I had taken a shirt and cut the sleeves off and put a bunch of lipstick right here, like blood. Mm -hmm. And I had I did buy a Daryl vest and an ear necklace. Yeah. But. I wore boots, I think, but like, we also just started wearing a bunch of nerdy shirts. Yeah. Like these. Because Barney, like, was he didn't like Ralph Macchio, or because he was all, he always thought that. He thought Ralph Macchio was the villain in Karate yeah. Kid, I think. Because <laughs> he got, what's his face to be in his wedding? Oh, yeah. What was his name? Uh, Billy. Billy Zapka. Zapka. Yeah. <laughs> Cobra Kai. Yeah, I love The Outsiders. We read that book in school and watched the movie, and I was in love with Matt Dillon. I still am a little bit. Let's be real here. And so, since they were coming, I had to get them. Yeah. I mean, I just knew who they were, just... Yeah, I mean, Ralph Macchio... Just because. Of course, is the Karate Kid, so... C. Thomas Howell, he's been in a lot of things. Probably most recently that I saw him in was Criminal Minds. He was a serial he was the oh, serial he was the one killer. Oh, he killed Hotch's wife, right? Yeah. That was creepy. 
Yep. I don't like him. Or that it creeps me out, so I'm gonna tell you anyway. In the scene that was later when he had kidnapped Potch and he had him tied up and he was stabbing him slowly. Oh yeah. I don't like that. Who would? <laughs> It would be weird if you it's, did like it's that. It's one of those weird things from TV that has stuck in my brain all these years, and occasionally I think of it. Oh, like, yeah. That's me thinking about... I didn't watch much Lost, but the Lost I watched, Saeed was torturing people by sticking things up under their fingernails. This is the gross part of the show, evidently, Ooh. where we talk about how to torture people no, for no reason. They had to Bobby on a shield that time, you know, Ward was sticking things up under her fingernails. Yes. Ah. Okay, we're not talking about torturing gross. people okay. anymore. But along the same lines, we also met... <laughs> Michael McMillan? Yes. From True Blood? Yeah. Steve? He was just a bad guy. Yeah. He started off as the sunshine whatever guy. Yeah, like a cult leader. It's like two years in a row we've had a cult thing happening. One also, real one imagined. He was hindering him well, like about Vince. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> also, now he's in an insurance commercial. I saw him the other day and I was like, hey, I knew that guy. We also met Ron Glass. To add to our yes. Firefly, Fire Firefly Fire. collection, we got all these TARDIS crossover shirts. So I got Firefly towing the TARDIS shirt. Yeah, I have one too, but you'll see it in the photos. Not. Um, You're wearing it. Oh, am I? You'll see it in the photos. <laughs> You're wearing it in the photos. Yes. That's mine. I have another one too. Maybe you'll see it in a. I might wear that in a future video. I'll probably wear my. I have calls to wear it. Anyway. So. We also met Patrick Stewart because how could we not? We're just gonna have to get you some rubber bands or something here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> now I'm ready. You better take that off for it cuts <laughs> off the circulation. We also met Patrick Stewart. Here's what happened. Patrick Stewart, we, he was a nice guy. And we walked in and we was... said, Hey, how are you or whatever? And he was like, he told me, I really like your accent. And I said, I really like yours too, Patrick Stewart. Probably not just like that. <laughs> I don't really moon like that. Like, oh gosh. But I did tell him I liked his too. And he was just a really nice guy. Mm -hmm. Plus he's just a legend. Yeah, man. Patrick freaking Stewart, man. Okay, anyway, I'll quit doing that. Yeah, sure make me look bad. <laughs> and we met Billy Boyd from Lord of the Rings. Billy Boyd asked me if I had seen a movie he was in. About ducks. I had not. Because of the duck tie. He was like, oh, you like ducks? And I was like, it's a costume. Sure. He's like, have you seen this movie? You should watch it. I don't remember what the movie was. I did not go watch it. But he didn't ask me if I liked ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. So much for that. So much for that. We also met Ivana Lynch, who played Luna Lovegood in the Harry Potter movies. And who else we got? <gasps> the Doctor. The Doctor. Your shirt's doubly legit. I know. Triple, well, because Vince will be new. Triply legit. And the doctor. So many things. That's why I wore it. Anyway, we met Colin Baker, who was the, uh, sorry, he's the sixth doctor. That's my bad. The fifth doctor was Peter Davidson, wasn't it? And we met John Ratzenberger. From Toy Story. He's right. Every Pixar movie. And Cheers. Yep. 
He's in every Pixar movie. Oh. He's the Stan Lee of Pixar movies. He's cool. in every one of them. Cool. Yeah. But most notably, from mm-hmm. Toy Story. He plays a main part. He plays Ham in Toy Story. And the other ones, he just slips in and does a voice here and there. So. Yep. So, yeah. Well. Ow. Is that everybody? Yeah. I think so. Let me consult. Oh, wait. I have one more on my list. Oh, yeah, wait. I did see that one. Sorry. From Arrow. This was to you. I didn't watch Arrow. I don't watch Arrow. Yeah. I didn't watch Arrow. We met Paul Blackthorn from Arrow. That's why we met him. But he... No, wait. That wasn't him. Just kidding. I, I know who he was because of Arrow, but I didn't watch Arrow. He also played... Um, Harry Dresden went on the short, I think it was a short-lived Dresden Files TV show. And Jim Butcher, who's the author, comes to Dragon Con a lot. We haven't met him because I've only read the first Dresden Files book. And that's pretty good. But I would had some people tell me, it's just like adult Harry Potter. You'll love it. It ain't adult Harry Potter. It's more like magic d- private eye. It's more like Magic Magnum. <laughs> <laughs> Magnum, maybe not Magnum, but like maybe Spencer for hire or something. Yeah. Anyway, it ain't like grown up Harry Potter. <laughs> it's like Magic Private Investigation, Magic Magnum. That sounded cooler. <laughs> yeah. Without the magic shorty shorts. Magnum. So. Well, I think that is legitimately it. Yes. So that was Dragon Con 2014. That was it. Stay tuned for more Dragon Cons and other stuff too. Yes. If you haven't seen the past Dragon Con videos, you can go back to the channel and watch those. If you like learning about more Dragon Cons, you can like and subscribe. And if you like other things, you can do that too because we don't just do Dragon Con. Go look at the channel. See what all we've got. We've got a bunch of stuff. We've got more stuff coming. I don't know what will be out by the time we post this video, but we got some stuff. We got some hopefully entertaining stuff. Yes. It's entertaining to us. Might be only us. <laughs> but if it's entertaining to you, let us know. Yep. And tell your friends. Peace out. How is this waving? <laughs>